Thank you guys for tuning in the channel today. We're going to be building bag I of the new Techno SCT 410 2.0. It's going to be the front steering assembly, kind of the bell crank and servo saver. Let's get started. First, I'm going to take these two pieces here. I'm going to go like so. I'm going to take this aluminum piece and it's going to get inserted down through there. Pushed in like that, look like so. Next, we'll take our spring, insert our spring there, set that down. We're gonna take our piece here. This is gonna get an O-ring installed in it. Like so. Next, the little lip to the inside. We're going to push this down real hard and thread that onto the threads there. I like to use the palm of my hand. And then to finish tighten it up, we can put it in our 17 millimeter slot of our shock tool. Per the instruction manual, we're going to run this all the way till the spring is tight and then back off two turns. Put it in my 17 millimeter holder there. And we're going to thread that on. With our spring all the way tight. Now we're going to back this off two turns. And that should set the right amount of tension for your servo. So... There's one, two, about right there. Your spring should look about like that. Now that we have this piece assembled, we're gonna be installing our crossbar here and it will connect to this piece here. But to begin with, we're gonna start by putting some bearings in, top and bottom both. Like so. And these will go just like this. If you notice, it will go in this position here with those tabs on this side of it. And we'll insert one of our plastic pieces here through there. And then we will get one of these Allen heads, button heads. And it's going through this piece here and thread into the plastic piece that we just got. And it's gonna to get too tough. So we're gonna grab our wrench Once it's tight, I'm just going to back it off just a little bit to where that, that spins nice and free, but doesn't have a whole lot of slop. Actually going to tighten it up just a hair. so that that moves nice and free. Now we have our bushings installed top and bottom. Should go like so. And take our plastic pieces going through the bearings. Our Allen head here is going through this hole and it will thread into the plastic piece.
grab our wrench. And then back it off just a little bit. Should look like so. Next, we're gonna go ahead and build our turnbuckles. Our steering, steering links here. And looks like these pieces are the same. So you don't gotta worry about getting that wrong. Got our tabs to the left. And let's get started with that. Set this to the side. Wanna insert the slot towards the inside because I'm gonna do the reverse threads first. Take a little chapstick. Rub that on our threads here. And thread this through. Go ahead and install the other side of the steering link here. Some chapstick on there. Notches right here. So this will be a normal thread. So we'll start it by hand. Looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and install these. Looks like all four of them are the same length this time, so that makes that easy. Go ahead and pop these in with our shock tool. Same as before, I like to grab some of these tools here and we'll just thread it in. It's want to come out on the other side, so I'm gonna hold it there. Just finish it this way. Maybe this side out just a little bit more. And that side is a reverse thread. So we're gonna tighten or go clockwise to loosen it. Maybe one more. And that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave her right there. Let's go ahead and build our other side. Taking my drill. Notches there. Do my reverse thread first. Do a little grease, get it greased up. Make sure it's turning counterclockwise for reverse thread. Get my grease on there. Stop right there, kind of comparing it to my other one. Go ahead and grease this side real good. And 
and we'll get this started by hand. Notice the notch is right there. So this will be a clockwise or normal threading it in. Get it started. Go ahead and get the balls here. Push those in. Like so. Make that a whole lot easier. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this with my shop tool. So, and we're going to thread this on. Maybe try that right there. And I like the way that looks. Go ahead and get that finished up. They're going to install on this piece here. And they're going to go in the furthermost hole. And to do that, making sure that our notches are on the left, we're going to take our cap head Allen screw here, and it will get a washer. Then it will get inserted through here. Then it will get another washer on top. And then we'll, it will get inserted through this front piece right here. And a nut on top of that. Find a tool to hold the nut. Got our driver here. ahead and tighten that up and we're going to go ahead and put one on the other side notch to the left should install like so going to go ahead put a washer first then go through there get another washer and then insert through this hole here. And we'll put a nut on top of that. Get our wrench and our screwdriver. Tighten that up. Should look like so. Notice the notches. I'm going to take this screw here and it's going to go through this hole here. Going to place our remaining bushings. In the top and bottom. All right. This will conclude our steering assembly for the Techno SCT 410 2.0 bag I. Getting pretty close to putting this stuff on the chassis. Stay tuned.